Paragon Review, what's it really worth? Paragon is a multiplayer online battle arena game developed and published by Epic Games. And today I'm going to be doing a full review and give you my thoughts on what was good, what was bad, and what I think this game is really worth. Paragon was released on Windows and the PlayStation 4 June 7, 2016. In this game, players are tasked with defeating the enemy team and destroying the core in their base in MOBA fashion style gameplay. Now let's break this game down and see what it's all about. Graphics So for a MOBA, this game doesn't look too bad. The character designs, the skins, the map, and the combat all look really great. Now when I play against the computer, I found the game was pretty good, no problems with frame rate or anything like that. But when I played online PvP or even the co-op versus the AI, I found once in a while there was a dip in the frame rate. And that might have just been from you know slow internet and lagging. But who knows? Music. The music sounds and feels really good for this game. It has an epic, futuristic, electro vibe to it with some orchestra thrown in for good measure. But the only time you get to hear it is in the main menu. I wish they would have included something in the gameplay itself, but it's not that big of a deal. Story So there's not really a story. But I can fill you in and give you the info on what exactly you have to do. Paragon is a third person multiplayer online battle arena video game. There are bases at the two opposite ends of the map. Players are tasked with defeating the enemy team and destroying the core in their base. They can reach their opponent's bases through the three lanes featured in each map. Each lane is protected by defensive towers that protect the base by attacking any incoming enemies that stand within its range automatically. Content For content, you get three game modes. You got PvP, Co-op versus AI, and Solo versus AI. There's over 272 cards you can collect to boost your characters, card packs to open when you win matches and level up, over 19 characters to choose from and every month they add a new one and there's also uh, a panel where you can watch other people play as well gameplay so for gameplay it's pretty much like every other MOBA you pick your hero you go in defeat minions and enemy players level up and then go in and destroy the opponent's base in a match 10 players are divided into two teams. The player assumes control of a hero. Each hero has their own major attack and possesses five sets of abilities, with one of them being the ultimate ability. I like the way they do this though. One team chooses one character first, then the other team picks, and it goes back and forth like that, so you can see what the opposite team is doing and your team and choose the right characters to fight bat with. I've tried a few MOBAs before, but this one is probably the slowest so far. And with the maps being so big, it takes forever to move around. When in battle, I pretty much just hold down the attack button for most of the time until one of my abilities is ready, but the problem is that they take up so much mana to use, whether you're level 1 or level 10, they run out really quick and having to teleport back to base and fuel up again and then running all the way back takes forever. You can use cards to fill them back up, but they have limited uses. When you do level up, you get to choose between four abilities to upgrade, your normal three and then a super. When players kill an enemy hero or destroy an enemy tower, they will gain experience and card points also. Before a match is about to start, Players can utilize a deck, which allows players to use these card points to purchase upgrades, such as health boosts and strength enhancing artifacts for their heroes and customize them. 
When you hit a certain level, you gain the ability to create your own decks for each individual character. Now I think that's very useful instead of having to make a deck that has to suit every character. You can specialize on one. Card packs can be purchased by reputation points which are earned through completing a match. One of the biggest issues I have is why is there only one map? For a MOBA you would think there'd be a little more to choose from. Even just three maps would be fine. I think instead of having a new hero released every month, they should throw in a new map every once in a while. Cause playing the same huge one over and over again can get pretty dull. Alright so now let's get down to the final verdict on what I think this game is really worth. So for the US it's $50 for you guys and for Canadians like myself it is $80. So for everything you get, great character roster that keeps growing every month, slow gameplay combat, one map, Tons of cards to collect, great for new players to MOBAs, PvP can be a bit laggy. Alright, so for my final verdict in this game. Now, for a MOBA, this probably isn't the best one out there, but it's not too bad. With them coming out with new heroes every month and patching it every week to make it better, there's a lot of room for improvement. And I think this game can grow to be better than what it is. Now for the experienced mobile players, it's kind of hard to say if you would like this game. But for newcomers to the MOBA genre, I would say it's not too bad of a choice to start out with. It's not really too hard to play. Like I said before, it's a little slow, so it might be easier for newcomers to kind of get a feel for it before moving up to something a little faster. And it's cool that you can go up against the AI as much as you want and keep practicing until you get better and better and you feel more comfortable enough to play in PvP. And another cool thing with playing against the AI, whether it's, whether it's solo or in co-op, you still gain XP for your player and for your hero as well, and also points to get more cards to boost them up. So that's not too bad. So for my final verdict, I would say, like for the US, for $50, you guys got a pretty good price. I mean, 50 bucks isn't too bad for this MOBA. Now, for Canadians like myself, $80? Uh, I'd have to pass on that. I don't think I would pay $80 for this game, considering it's kind of still like, they're still patching stuff and bringing new things all the time. Like, that's not bad, but there should be more to it for $80. Now, in the release of this video, uh, when, well, actually, even before the release, in the recording of this video, the game actually is free to play on console right now. And when this comes out, it should still be free for PS Plus members. But it's, I believe it's only for this month, but don't quote me on that because I'm not exactly sure. So if you want to try it, now's your chance to do it. You can check it out yourself. Well, alright guys, I'm going to end my review there of Paragon for the PS4. Hope you guys enjoy. If you're new to my channel, I'll put my logo on the screen so you can click on that. It'll bring you over to my channel and you can check out all my gameplays and all my reviews for all the other games that I do. If you want to see the gameplay that goes with this review, I'll put a card up top so you can click on that. Go check that out. And don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of Paragon and of my review. Make sure to check out some of my other stuff too. You know what you gotta do, you know how to do it. Peace out guys. Cha! Based on Windows, PS4, Wii U, and Xbox One on June 21st, 2016. You play as Beck, the ninth in a line of powerful robots and the only one not infected 